Hey guys, welcome back to that stuff. This is part three of my soapbox build. Uh, remember if you like the channel, uh, like what I'm doing, like the videos, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. Always happy to in interact with um, uh, the people watching my videos. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. So back in the workshop, uh, today we are looking at our front wheels which failed on our first test. We got six yards down the road, uh, axles bent, it was bad um, and we all felt really bad about it. Uh, but we are back, we've got a plan. Um, what I plan to do is uh, take the wheels off the front, knock out the bearing cups from inside the hub and then we'll see where we are uh, at that point and then we'll make a plan. So these are the axles that I've removed from uh, the bike wheels. So after our first test last week, you can see that they are bent. Um, so obviously we had this stub axle sleeved over here and the thought was that we would gain some strength by sleeving it all the way up to this nut, hard, tightening this up really hard and then we wouldn't get bending. But what we've actually done is transfer the load just the other side into the bearings um, and that's where that has bent. So these are now uh, useless to us. So bigger axle um, in the wheels required. Okay, so uh, at the start of the day, we were a bit uncertain about how this was going to go. Um, we hadn't, or we had an idea about how we could um, make good on our failure last week. So the axles bent. Um, so we knocked out the bearing cups, and we are now back in the game. So what we've done is manufacture a new uh, bearing uh, hub, essentially. So we have manufactured a new shaft new bearing cups and we've inserted sealed bearings into the existing BMX hub. So we've knocked out the cups from inside of uh, the hub, inserted these new manufactured, um, manufactured cups with the sealed bearings and that shaft is back in. We are back.
27.6 miles an hour. See? That's fast, but solid. So, end of another build day. Uh, two build days ago, uh, we bent our axles, uh, but today we are back officially in the game because last week I was excited, but what we've done is now remount our fresh axles so they are in the kingpin so we drilled out the old ones um, we manufactured uh, a collar on here so we could get it home get it home and just press on the bearing we've got two nuts on here and we manufactured another spacer that's holding our bearings in uh, which is making our wheels uh, run and our steering geometry we've sorted we had some um, adjustments on the sort of Ackerman uh, steering arm. We were at the top, we were getting a bit of reverse Ackerman, now we're on the middle. We're lined up in the centre here and we are good. We took it up a hill, we did a couple of tests, 27.6 miles an hour so far. We're going to get some brakes on it, we're going to get even faster.
So uh, end of another day, we've done, um, well, we made really good progress today until we did our second test run. So we did two test runs up the hill. Um, we have had a bit of a failure on one of our wheels yet again. Luckily, it's not on the axles that we built, it's on the rim. So you can see that the wheel is completely uh, like just well, it's bent off. I think we had some issues there when we were pumping it up the other week, but these are pretty weak rims anyway. Um, annoyingly, obviously we manufactured the cups to go in here in the bearings, um, and now we can't use those, but we do have a spare wheel um, to go on. Uh, we've got our manufacturer some new spacers. They're just the cups out of the other one, uh, and hopefully we'll be back up and running. Um, but yeah, it's looking good anyway. So here we are, last weekend of the Soapbox build. It's the last weekend because we are racing next weekend. Uh, we've still got quite a lot to do. Uh, you'll remember last week I told you about the uh, wheel uh, not quite working or it breaking. Uh, so we've got to fix that. Uh, we've got a bit of bodywork to do. So I've got some insulation foam going on um, that I got for free off of some guy's drive, picked it up off Facebook. So I'm going to carve that into a body on the top. Um, we've also got uh, our propeller to go on the back. Uh, we've got to fix all of our uh, our brakes and make sure that the oil is actually going down the pipe and not just uh, on the floor. Um, and then uh, we've also, oh, it's not in there, but we've got to do a seat belt. Oh, I think Ed's working on that over there. No, he's not. He's working on a wheel. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, still quite a lot to do. Uh, two more days to go, uh, but we're getting there. There we have it. That was the third and final part of my soapbox build. Uh, the footage from race day should also be up on the uh, channel, so uh, go over and check that out. Remember, you stay safe, get some stuff done.